Welcome to another video. I have a box of pennies here I need to hunt. I've got a couple box of pennies I need to hunt. So we're going to get into this one. I uh, gave it a pre-score here. So I figured let's pop it open and see what we got here. Um, 2024 Denver's. 2024 Denver. Wow. Okay. Looks like I have a box full of 2024 Denver's with a few circulated rolls. Wow. I mean, 2024 Denver's. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if I got Philadelphia's, but that's a lot of Denver's. I don't get Denver's. I'm, I'm, I'm in east of the Mississippi. Okay, so what I'm I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out these rolls that are circulated to hunt. Um, and I might look through a couple of these uncirculated rolls. And I've got another box over here. Maybe I'll just combine those with the other box. So let me do that. See what we got going on here. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back and we'll get us some pennies and see if we have some really cool finds in here. Intro, take 473. Cue music. <laughs> Coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Okay, so we got 13 rolls of circulated cents from that box to hunt. And then uh, after I get through these, we'll crack open the other box and see what's in that one. Okay, we are on our second roll here of these pennies. We got a wheat cent. Let's take a look and see what date it is. 1958, last year of the Wheatie. First wheat scent is the final year of the wheat scent. Made it all the way to the back of roll number six, and we've got a 1942 here. This is a Denver wheat scent. Nice. Second wheat scent so far. Roll number 10, we've hit our third wheat scent here. It's a 1957 out of Denver. Nice. That is a nice find there. Uh, three weeks since in the first 10 rolls, not bad. We got three rolls left to go out of this box and then uh, I'll see if I'm gonna add that next box or not. Well, there are only three wheat scent finds. No, uh, there was no pennies worth uh, keeping for the albums either. So let's see if this box we can hunt. Um, well, this box has 2024 Denver's in it as well. Holy cow. Two boxes with 2024 Denver's. Wow. Oh, oh, we do have a wheat scent ender. How about that? So we're going to get at least one wheat scent out of here. So this is, I guess, a good box to add because it's not a full box. So we won't have more than 50 rolls, but I think we'll have less than 50 and we'll see what we end up with. But uh, it looks like I got more rolls of 2024 Denver in this box. Really weird. Um, again, east of the Mississippi, and I usually get Philadelphia's. So getting a bunch of Denver's is a little bit strange nonetheless. Okay, well, let me get these uh, sorted out, pull out the ones that are uh, circulated, and we'll get going through those. Okay, let's start off with this Rollinger here. Um, we'll crack this up and see what this one is, and then we'll go from here. There are 29 rolls in this box that I am able to hunt. So that is nice here. So let us look into these and see what we got going on here. Um, hopefully there's more than just this one wheat scent here and these 29 rolls, but we will find out here shortly. Let's start off with this one and go from here. Wheat scent from 1946. There's a little gouge on the front there, but that is still a wheat scent. Very cool, and it's 40s wheat scent at that. Roll number five here, and I got a, another wheat scent. This one is a little bit dirty. It is a 1948, it looks like. Yeah, that's what it looks like. All right, two wheat scents so far. We're on roll number eight of the second box, and we have another wheat scent. This one is another 1958. Nice. That's three wheat scents so far. Roll number nine. I just poured it out and I see we have a wheat scent right here down in the middle. So let's go ahead and take a look here and see what we got. 1956 out of Denver. Cool. That is another wheat scent for up here. 
We're on roll number 11. It looks like I've come across another wheat scent here. We have a 1955, oh sorry, 1953 out of Philadelphia. Cool. It's a fun find for sure. Let's stack that up there and keep going. We are on to roll 25 here. We've got another find, 1958 out of Denver. That is another wheat scent on the hunt. Very cool. It's been a while since my last one. We got four rolls left. Hopefully we get at least one more, but we'll find out here shortly. Okay, so wrapping up here, no other finds, and uh, we didn't have a whole lot out of the uh, 42 rolls total. So we didn't have a full 50 rolls to get, go through, but it is a little light for uh, usual. Um, six from the four, uh, 50s and three from the 40s here. And then I've got maybe a uh, half a dozen or so uh, coins over to the side here to check against the album. So I'll check these and see if these upgrade or fill spots in the Wheat Scent album. And we'll go from there. All right, we'll be right back. And if anyone would like to help support the channel and get their hands on a Philadelphia and Denver rear roll of uncirculated scents, do, do send me an email. Um, I'm thinking $3 for uh, a set here of Philadelphia and Denver plus a $5 shipping fee for how many ever sets you want, just the one-time fee for the shipping. Um, that should cover fees, costs, shipping, and uh, help out the channel for a buck or so um, per roll set there. So do uh, let me know, shoot me an email, and I will put these together and ship them out to you. And for our wheat cents, we have a 1942. That's gonna fill the spot there. Not a great coin, but it fills the spot. Then our last coin for this album, 1953, out of Philly. This one is much better than the one we have in there. This one has a lot of damage and uh, pop marks holes all over it. Probably got something that corroded away the surface. This one, while it is circulated, is a lot cleaner and actually than the one we have in there. That's it for this album. Book number two, 59 through 98. There were no fills or upgrades for this album. And for book number three, we have a 2009 early childhood here that is just a nice, cleaner example, less dirt, less spots on it. I don't get a lot of 2009, uh, nice red 2009 scents, so finding an upgrade here is nice. Um, this one probably will not be upgraded unless I find a nice, pristine example. Next up, we have a two, 2023 out of Denver here um, that is just cleaner and nicer than the one we have in there. They're both uh, pretty much uncirculated. This one has some weird spotting on it and stuff, and this one's more of a solid color, even though the surfaces have a little dirt on it. It is still a nice one that's in there, and that's gonna be the upgrade for that slot. And then last spot on the page, I haven't written for these yet. 2024 out of Philly, 2024 out of Denver. We got those uh, uncirculated rolls, so I'm gonna drop one of those in here as well. So that will be a spot fill because I probably won't see any uncirculated in any time soon other than these rolls. That's it for book number three. Okay, for the albums, we had two spots filled, including a, a brand new uh, 2024 out of Denver, which I didn't have. Uh, that is filling of that spot there. And then we had four spots upgraded. And a couple of those were some slight upgrades, but I think those will are nicer cleaner than the ones we had in here even though they're slight i think those are probably going to be the final upgrades for those spots unless i find just pristine examples of those coins which i'm not expecting to so those will probably hold those spots through the end of the albums when i decide that i'm done with these albums and maybe we'll start new albums fresh all right well i do hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that thumbs up post me out drop a comment down down below and let me know what you thought thank you very much for watching everyone have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.